Hi, it's Jessie with Plan With Jessie, and I wanted to do a very quick video on how to get an image that you may have purchased off of Etsy into your digital planner. So the ones that I have in my shop and most digital planner images that you download that are specifically made for digital planners are going to be in ping form, which is .png. And what you do is you just download it into your photos, either on your iPad or your iPhone. I'm going to show you here today is on an iPad. This is an old iPad, iPad 2. Um, so I have already gotten the photos, so let's pretend that I purchased this. Um, so this is what the ping for my store, the, from my shop looks like. So this is what you would get. It has a transparent background. Um, it would obviously not have the stickers for digital planners. So let's get to one. There we go. So this is what it would look like. So what you have here is four different images that you're going to want to put into your planner. So like I said, just save this into your camera roll, your photos on your iPad or your iPhone. And then the next thing you want to do is go to GoodNotes. Um, I guess since this isn't loading fast, I'll go ahead and just open up my sticker book. So here is just a blank page in my sticker book. So in order to get those stickers that you just purchased, just hold down your finger on the screen or using your stylus, click image. Um, you want to go to photos because like I said, you save it into your camera roll. All photos. Okay, so you just want to click on, you can see the, the transparent background one is the one you want and that's the one with the all black. So you're going to click on that. And then what you get is just one image of all um, the four pictures together. So uh, if you want to use one of these stickers, you're going to need to crop them. So the easiest way to do that is to click the lasso tool and then to circle the whole thing, copy, and then make three more, then paste it three times. And that way, all you have to do is crop each one. So you crop the heart, the sloth, the unicorn, and the rainbow and then you will have all four pictures. So click edit, click crop, and let's start with the heart. I usually just crop with a rectangle. If you wanna crop free, free style, free hand, you can, but because it's a transparent background, it's, it's fine to just do the, um, the square rectangle. And then you can see you can resize it depending on how big you want your stickers in your sticker book to be. And then when you go to use them in your planner, of course, you can always make them bigger. So then this one, again, edit, crop. Let's do the sloth this time. Make him a little bigger. And down here, edit, crop. And the best part about having the transparent background is that way, if you are using a non-white page, like here it's a little bit of a pink tinted page, then you're not going to have that white. Not real quick. Okay, so there you have it. That's all four images. So you just click the lasso tool. Let's say I want to do the rainbow. Oops. Copy just the rainbow. Go to my planner with face. And it's in there. So that's how you add a ping file digital stickers into your planner. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.